Welcome fabricators. Microsoft Fabric Data Warehouse now has recovery points. What does that help us do? Well, it helps us recover from logical corruption. And that's what we're covering today on Tales from the Field. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 All right, so we were talking about corruption. And there's two types that you face in a data platform. There's logical corruption, and then there's physical corruption. In Azure, we are protected from physical corruption by the way the underlying Azure storage works that makes up one lake storage. So what protects us from logical corruption? Well, logical corruption can happen if somebody accidentally drops a table or if you run an ETL job and there was something or some step that was skipped or something wasn't passed properly. So when we get logical corruption, logical corruption is something that happens because we're working with the data. Well, how do we prevent against that? That's what we're going to cover. And real quick, speaking of covering things, if this is your first time finding your way to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we have our MS Tech Bits. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable or a live stream with a product group. And on the Azure Data Community Roundtable, we're celebrating the creators in the Azure Data Community, and we always want to thank them for their wonderful content. So let's go ahead and get back to restore points and let's go take a look at that great content. So I'm over in my fabric workspace. And the first thing I want to do is I want to start by selecting my fabric data warehouse, my DDW EDW. Underneath here, under the staging schema, we've got the table we created in a previous video where we created and ingested data from an API, our weather data. As a matter of fact, I've also got a query where I can say select star from staging weather data. I run this, I get back roughly 120 rows. All my data is right there. Now let's get ready to simulate logical corruption. I'm gonna to go to the gear and go to restore points. You can see I've got a whole bunch of system restore points right now. The system is gonna create one roughly every eight hours and all of these will be retained for, for 30 days, making sure that we've got our system restore points. So. I can also create user ones. I'm going to add a restore point. We're going to call this exactly what it is, pre-table drop. And then we're going to create. If only we always had so much forewarning, right? What we're going to do is we're going to simulate logical corruption occurring by dropping a table that we don't want to lose. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select new SQL query drop. This gives me a T-SQL statement to be able to drop my staging weather ta table. And here we are. It's gone. I can see it disappears. It's not there anymore. Now, how do I get this back? Well, this is where your restore points come into place. I can come to my restore point, select my pre-table drop, and then I can say restore. Now, a quick warning. This is going to replace current schemas, cancel active queries, close all web and tabular data streams, replace any user policies with the previous version. So you want to make sure you check this and you understand what you're doing. This is a non-trivial thing that we're doing, restoring this point. But if I do this and I need to because I have logical corruption, I go ahead and I click this and then I can see it's been successfully applied. I can go ahead and click dismiss, close this, come down and look at my table, do a quick refresh. There's that fabric magic. My weather data table is back. As a matter of fact, I come back, I run my select start query and just like it was never gone, my 120 rows are back. So this is absolutely fantastic. What about our capability to manage these? Well, keep in mind your user restore points will be maintained for 30 days. After 30 days, they're going to be deleted. But let's say you go, ah, I don't really need to keep this around. You can come in and you can delete your user defined restore point. Just come in here, check it, click delete, we can see that this has been successfully deleted. Now, what about the system restore points? Well, I can't do that. As you can see, it's not even gonna let me have the option of deleting this. This is because to be able to maintain the system SLAs, we need to be able to keep these system created restore points. Fantastic stuff, right? Well, you know where we wanna keep this going? Down in the comments, sound off. Do you find this feature to be helpful? Is this something that you were aware of? Are you currently using this? Really cool thing is even if you didn't know that you had restore points, you do. As long as you're using Fabric Data Warehouse, the system is taking those restore points every eight hours. Okay, 
Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one another out there. Bye, everybody. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day.